Hey guys, it's Tanya Crooks here, the original brow gal, and many of you have been asking me to do an actual demonstration A to Z of how to use the brow gal products. So stay tuned. Here we go. The first place we're going to start is determining what is the natural shape of the brow. Brows usually fall into one of three shapes. The arch is more like a hill, so it's when the brow raises up high and it goes low, high, low. Your arc is a rounder brow, so it's when the whole thing sort of lifts, more like a rainbow. And your straighter brow is exactly that, it's more straight. So you wanna look in the mirror and determine what is your natural shape. So please raise your brows for me, Brittany. And you can see hers pull up quite high in the arch, so I would say she has an arch. Now that we've determined what her shape is, we wanna make sure that we try to get the brows to look as similar as possible without making them exact. Both sides of the face are not symmetrical, but we wanna make them look as much as like as we can. What you always wanna start is at the baseline. So after you brush up and through the brow and determine what the natural shape is, you wanna put in what I call the baseline. The reason why I, like, I created a pencil was because I like to be able to have a really sharp tip. This creates the look of hairs and gives you the ability to have a lot of detail, which is very important to me. Details totally matter. I like to remove the top of the, of the sharpener, make sure it's clean and clear before we begin, and do a one turn sharpen. So you have a very sharp pencil lead brush the brows up and I always like to start right here this is called the baseline and I put it in one line from beginning to the end of the brow in small hair like strokes and brushing through we want to do the same to the top as we did to the bottom so basically what you want to do is you want to have two parallel lines that intersect in the end so we're going to go brush through again and the great thing about our pencils is you never have to worry about having too much product applied. As you can see, if you make little hair-like strokes, they're always blendable. Or, since the tips are pressure sensitive, if you apply a little bit more pressure, they're still blendable. But they stay on and they're water resistant, sweat proof. So same thing on the top, outline the brow. Pull up if you need to find where the arch is for, for guidance and intersect at the tail. This is where I begin. I always fill the brows in first because like fine fabrics, you wanna make sure you put a pattern down first before you cut. So now, after we've determined what the shape is, I'm going to be removing hair outside of the shape I've created. So first thing I wanna do is I wanna brush the brows in the direction that they're growing. That's the key. Brush them in the direction they're growing. Don't just brush them up, because if you brush all of the hairs up and they're growing down and then you trim, guess what? You're gonna cut a hole in your brow and we don't want that. <laughs> it's not nice. Okay, so brushing, because these hairs are growing up, I'm brushing them up and I'm doing just a small trim. A little goes a long way. And brushing out, since these are growing up and out, again, trimming along the line that I've created. But you always want to be conservative when you're trimming the brows. Don't feel like you have to go for it all in one cut. Cut just the tips, brush them back into place, and see if you need to repeat that step. Super easy. So we're going to start with the tweezers, and you want to remove the hair one row at a time, kind of like a sewing machine sews. So you want to start at the front, and one row at a time, removing the hairs. Okay. Continue to tweeze and take out all the final hairs. Remember tweezing in a straight line and I've done the top and the bottom. And you wanna give it a final brush through before the next step. Now it's time for the highlighter. So we have one end that is the matte end that can be used as a matte highlighter or concealer and the other end, which is the shimmer, that can be used all over the face. So I'm gonna start with the matte end here and start one third away from where the brow starts to the end. And you can either use a finger or your brush. Your finger, you can either use, begin here, go through the brow and blend with your finger or a brush. We're gonna do the 
the same thing at the top, kind of dotting it to highlight the top of the brow and blending. Now is the fun part. You get to go in and work on if there's any dark circles. You guys, I packed this full of great stuff. We've got green tea in here and alpha alpha extract to help with that circulation, dark, dark circles, puffiness, and all the stuff you don't want. It just covers it right up and helps reduce. Now we're gonna flip to the other end, which is this fabulously golden shimmer. This is highlighter number two, and we're gonna go and strobe right on her cheekbone and blend. These are creamy, but they're not greasy. So the texture on all of our products is one of the things that really makes them unique. I'm also gonna put this right on top of the mat and a little in her crease to give her a little bit more of a pop. I'm gonna keep this work looking fabulous, not just for the 10 minutes after you do it, but we want these brows to stay on. And I mean stay on during hot yoga, stay on during your workout, stay on during walking the dog at 100 degree temperature, stay on. And so we have our water resistant eyebrow clear gel to set and seal. So you wanna just brush up and through the brow and you're done. You're set and sealed and you're ready to go. Look at that.